This is how I installed a rear view camera in my 2010 Ford Transit Connect. Hold on. Hey Wonderfuls! I installed a rear view camera on my Transit Connect and it was a bit of a pain but it worked out really well. There were just two scary parts to this job and that was drilling the screws through for the camera mount and connecting to the reverse light power wire. But they ended up being not that bad after all. I didn't have to drill any holes into the metal of the van. I just used some existing ones and then drilled through the rubber plugs that were in them. I did have to drill two screws into the van to mount the camera though on the makeshift bracket adapter, which I will get to. Ideally, you would probably want to go through the driver's side back door because there's a little knockout panel at the top that just comes off with a couple of screws and then it would make it very easy to fish the wire down through the door. But I didn't go that route because taking off the driver's side tail light meant I'd have to dismantle my bed and I don't want to do that right now. So I went for the passenger side tail light, but it's pretty much the same process albeit a little trickier. So I popped off the desired tail light to have a look and see which one the reverse light was and then figure out which wire going to that was the positive. I used one of these little self-stripping tap connectors or like a T-tap connector would work also. And that's just so I didn't have to cut the wire on the reverse light. And I can just slip this over and add my camera's reverse light wire to it. The reason I wanted to wire the backup camera to the positive wire on the backup light is so that it automatically comes on in the little monitor as soon as I put the vehicle in reverse. Otherwise I can manually switch between them. So it's not necessary, it's just kind of handy. The system I bought comes with a backup camera and a dash camera actually included in the rear view mirror and monitor. And this just straps over your existing rear view mirror. Once I took off the tail light, I could see there was an existing hole in the van from the cargo space. So I fed the wire through there to the tail light section and then I needed to get it back into the back door. I tried to fish the wire through the existing rubber shroud that goes between the body and the door and there just didn't seem to be enough room so I went through two other holes and just took the rubber plugs out and then put tiny holes through those and fed the camera wire through them. I wanted the camera up high on the van just because of potential vandalism if it was down low and I feel like that's my preferred view from above. So it made it of course a little bit trickier. I had to somehow get the cable up through the column of the door and there wasn't a lot of space so I ended up using one of my thin jewelry making wires <laughs> to feed down through the column of the door past the bolts and brackets that were in there and into the lower opening of the door and I taped the camera wire onto it and carefully pulled it back through the top opening. I could have gone a step further and drilled another hole on the outside of the van for the wire but I didn't see much point in that and just put the wire over top of the door and then use some duct tape to keep it in place which I will eventually replace with white duct tape that is a little less conspicuous, but I couldn't find that at the time. So this is $45 at Princess Auto, and I won't complain too much, but the camera mount is stupid. <laughs> and it doesn't work for the way that I want to mount the camera. Um, it does not come with the one that's shown on the box or in the manual. It actually comes with just a very simple little L bracket that you can bend to adjust. Um, which mounts fine on the top side if you're going to mount it up onto something but for the bottom side it doesn't 
sit flush with the bottom. So this little gap actually means that I can't screw it right side up onto the top of my van. Um, not to mention the screws it comes with are silly anyway. So I was going to cut up a hockey puck, uh, then I just ended up finding a little chunk of rubber, so I kind of trimmed it down to shape, and I'm going to use that underneath so that it will actually sit on the van and have some clearance, and then I can bend it slightly to adjust it from there. And I'll end up using some way bigger screws also. I told my brother how I was gonna use a hockey puck until I found a little piece of rubber, and he thought that that was great, that a hockey puck was spared, so I could eventually use it for the van lift kit. Lining up the camera was a little bit tricky with one set of hands, but I just used some painter's tape to hold it in place, then ran from the back of the vehicle to the cab to look at the camera, made a mental note of how to adjust it, then ran back to the back of the vehicle and adjusted the camera a few times until it was where I wanted it to be. And then I screwed it in place and fine-tuned it again. These are my place markers, so I know what I'm looking at in the camera. This part could have been an easier one-person job had I not gotten overexcited and already ran the wires up to the front of the cab. Then I could have just hooked up the monitor at the back of the vehicle temporarily and had it in hand while I lined up the camera rather than running back and forth to the front. But hindsight. I have yet to test the motion sensor and the shock sensor function of this system. I mainly just wanted it for the backup camera, but so far I'm super impressed.